Have you ever wanted a Reaper Leviathan swing around your alien containment? Maybe you prefer it to be a Chalicerit. With the Sonotica games, we have a lot of mods geared towards quality of life improvements, mods for improving the vehicles or our bases, and mods for enhancing basic elements of the gameplay. Then we have some mods that are geared towards just having fun with the game. So let me show you some of the fun you can have with the Custom Command mod. The Custom Command mod adds some new commands to the game that allow you some interesting options, and it is available for both original Subnautica and Below Zero. Let's start with the various size commands. First, you have the Spawn Size Command, SPSE. The command takes some specific arguments to use it. You will need to include the spawn ID, of course, but you can also add quantity, width, height, length, and distance. So to spawn a small Reaper Leviathan in front of you, the command would go something like this. SPSE Reaper Leviathan 1 0.1. This will spawn a Reaper Leviathan 1 tenth normal size in front of you. You can go further with this and make a flatworm looking reaper by using SPSE Reaper Leviathan 1 2 0 0.1 0 0.1. This will make it twice the width but still one tenth the normal height and length. If you want to just make something five times the normal size, you only need to put in the one size value but you can tweak the individual values if you want to make something goofy looking. This command can also be applied to the sea moth, prawn suit, and sea truck. With the cyclops, however, we have a separate command since it uses a separate command normally. The SUSE command functions the same as the SPSE command, but it is specific to the cyclops. You just use cyclops for the item ID and then what size you want. But these are not the only way to get ROUSs. You can also target an existing object in front of you with the size command. The size command works the same as the spawn commands, except you do not need an item ID or quantity since the object already exists. You just need to include the size values and that's it. Got an angry chelicerate coming at you? Type fast enough and you can make it small and cuddly. Of course, it will still bite you, so there's that. The size command works best with slow or stationary objects, though you can use it on faster objects if you use the built-in speed command to slow the whole game down momentarily. One last command is the PLAYSE command to adjust player size. This is simply just using the command with a single value for the size of your character. Of course, fair warning, the mod author does state this can cause a lot of issues. Also, in my testing, it most of the time would reset you to the default size after using free cam mode. Now, changing all these different creatures to a smaller or larger size is nice, but that's not all you can do with this mod. The pickup command will let you mark the object you are aiming at with the pickup attribute. If the object can already be picked up, then the command will remove that attribute. This command works on creatures and even on items such as Altera cargo crates. So you can shrink down a mean ghost leviathan and make it so you can pick it up afterward. It will still try and attack you though, unless you use this last command. Simply look mini ghosty in the eyes and type out the command friend. The friend command will make any creature you aim at docile if it is currently hostile and hostile if it is currently docile. One thing to note, some items will be particular where you can place or drop them after you pick them up. For example, the Chalicerate will not drop inside your alien containment, but can be dropped outside in the open water. Because of the length of some commands, you may want an easier way to use them. You can always tie in macros or something similar to quickly paste commands in without having to type out every time. So now you could go and have fun making creatures bigger, smaller, fatter, or taller. 
You can have one Reaper, two Reaper, big Reaper, small Reaper. I kind of went Dr. Seuss there, but you get the idea. So if you're interested in giving this mod a try, you can find the mod through the links in the description below. Just remember that some commands will cause the occasional issue. So make sure you have a good backup of your game save.